Hello guys, welcome to Puck Camper. This is Jonathan again. We are at Lake Opiongo. Me, Eric, and another Eric, but he's actually Chris. We're doing a four day trip in Algonquin. And all four days are pretty epic. Today, today is probably gonna be seven hours. We just paddled through the whole Lake Opiongo for about three hours. Tomorrow we have um, about 12 kilometers of portage in total. Portage, not even paddling, 12 kilometers. And then the day after is also about 12 kilometers and the last day is just paddling now. So this trip is actually pretty uh, insane because of this man over here. Doesn't want to do easy <laughs> stuff. Our ass are hurting, <laughs> right? And uh, yeah, so we're at the north arm of Opiango. Gonna do the two kilometer portage now. And then uh, hopefully we'll get to our campsite by five o'clock. Now I can just sleep, so tired. <laughs> we left Toronto at five this yeah, morning, 5.30. 5 5.30. Yeah, anyway, see you guys in a bit, later. This is our campsite. Look at how spacious it is, eh? Amazing. Eight hours, took us eight hours with a lot of breaks in between. But uh, here we are. Hi Chris, hi Eric, say hi. Hi. Hello. I'm so hungry and tired. <laughs> We're all having fun for like the first half and then after the second portage was like so tired, so tired, so tired. I know what you're about. But here we are, <laughs> here we are. Gonna set up our campsite. Hopefully I'll get some firewood. If not, I'm just gonna eat. I'm starving right now, starving. It's only 4.30ish, so I'll see you guys very soon while we're eating dinner because I'm really hungry right now. So, uh, Chris, what happened? Uh, what happened? All right, fine, he didn't want to talk about it. Eric, what happened? Well, there seems to be something missing this tent. <laughs> <laughs> so we're putting the tent we're together. Improvise. Chris here, this is his tent. He didn't bring the poles. <laughs> we're gonna figure it out how we're gonna tie it together. Should be okay. Should be okay. Every single time I try to freaking sit on my tent, it's like her sleeping bag. Every single time, right princess? Say hi princess. Didn't see you till now. Hmm. She was sleeping the whole way for freaking eight hours. Look at our work, man. We put the ropes. I just came through with a big solution. You know these guys? <laughs> the great minds of... And we stake the corners. Jonathan and look at that. Did it work? Look at that. To get some firewood for us. He's a very famous uh, tree climber. Now you can't. Yo, yo, do not come down. Get up, get up. Need a little lift? Nice. Oh my god. Yo, he's one of the best tree climber I've ever met in my life. He's also a triathlon athlete. He's very cool. Single guy. Super His phone cool. number is 647. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, you might need oh. to. Shay Shay. Plus one. There we go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh... Nice. So I just got back from Bev last week. I went to Calgary. And I drove all the way to Vancouver with my best buddy. We camped there and we went back to uh, Banff and Jasper. We camped all there too. I didn't take any videos and simply because I want to like make sure I enjoy the moments over there with my friends. You know, I gotta do things for myself too, eh? But yeah, it's almost the end of summer, which means school starting soon. Let's talk a little more later. Oh, Chris is back. How's pooping? What? Oh, you didn't go poop? <laughs> <laughs> How deep is it? It's not that deep. But it's really cold though. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> That's really shallow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. What happened? Rock. Oh. Yeah, yeah, not shallow. It's not deep. It's a lot of rocks. <laughs> Scrape my nipple on a rock. Got a video. Scrape my nipple. <laughs> As you.
you guys can see we got some shawarma over here perfectly the roasted one, the only one left the other yeah, one's not rotating one's anymore broken. <laughs> <laughs> princess she says princess really tired right princess baby so cute we're just chilling eating our snack i think by nine o'clock we're gonna go in and sleep we woke up at 5 a.m today ish and then we left around 5 30 so we're really tired like the whole time we're so sleepy when the paddling took forever it was like falling asleep in the canoe while we're paddling we may want to change the route tomorrow just because we don't want to die <laughs> we'll see tomorrow i'll update you tomorrow all right and for now i guess it's good night see you tomorrow morning <laughs> Morning. We're all having breakfast now. We decided that we're just gonna do the five hour trip today instead of like eight hours, possibly more. A couple reasons. First is that the portage to the end, three of them, about three kilometers in total, are very buggy. According to the map, are very buggy. And if you know us by now, we don't like bugs. <laughs> we dislike bugs very much. And second of all, like we're actually tired. Based on yesterday, we don't think that today will be fine. <laughs> Let's put it that way. For now, we're gonna take our time and just chill, eat our breakfast, pack up, and then slowly get our get on our way. <laughs> Having noodle for my breakfast. Dry noodle. Dump the water out. Oh, steam. <laughs> That's it. How easy is that? Oh man. All right. Oh god dang it, it's the spicy ones. <laughs> oh, so spicy. <laughs> oh, never mind, I'll be good for a while. It's gonna burn through my stomach. <laughs> I got a spicy one, dang it. This is the packaging. What does it say? I didn't even read it, I should have read it. Extra spicy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we went from Opiango Access Point. We paddled all the way up. We took this portage that was 2,300 ish um, meter. And we paddled all the way up here. We took that portage and we paddled all the way to this campsite. We're over here right now. And today, today is the second day that we're gonna paddle up. We're gonna take this unmaintained, all these unmaintained uh, portages. All the way up here to Lake Lemoor. We're gonna paddle through, take that portage, and then can come to Hogan. Now, I think this is where we're staying today. Originally, we're gonna go up, gonna take these guys, and then go all the way in here. This part right here will take about three extra hours. And that is the part that I think we're gonna skip today. Um, so we're probably gonna stay here today. And after that, tomorrow we're gonna paddle down, take this almost four kilometer portage, and we're gonna paddle, 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 to uh, Prox Lake, and that's for tomorrow. And then last day, we're gonna come all the way back down. And that's the plan for these four days. You look at the map, and the Opiango is like so long, eh? That whole paddle took us about three hours. So I guess for three guys, it's not that bad. But I would recommend that if you're new, or um, you're coming with somebody who's new that paddling or who does not have enough strength for this, don't do it. The reason for that is because um, Lake Opiango is the biggest lake in Algonquin. So when you're out there and the wind picks up, it feels like you're paddling in the ocean. Like the waves are pretty big. If you're not good at paddling, don't try this. Take the water taxi to be safe, right? It'll save you a lot of time too. It just costs more money. I wouldn't do this unless I'm with two, these two guys. Just for safety reason, yeah. Uh. 
Hi. That was a 1470 meter portage. And now just snacking. That wasn't that bad. Lunchtime. Yeah. yeah, lunchtime. The 1600 portage. This, this is the uh, Lake Lemoor. That's a portage area over there. Pretty nice, eh? Oh, it's cool now, yeah! yeah oh yeah, it cools down. The princess is walking with us, so cute! She's swimming! She's swimming! <laughs> oh, that is so cute, man. Princess swimming. <laughs> come on, come on, come here. Oh, that is so cute. Ouch! Oh! <laughs> Woo! Splash his camera. <laughs> Alright buddy, later. Bye! Whoa! Nice How do you go from there to there? <gasps> Salmon magic. Salmon powers, baby. <laughs> Okay, no. well, is this okay for you? Though? Yeah, that's fine. I didn't Woo! Think so. I that's a big island. Look at that. Look at how open this lake is. So, we went to the island. It was taken. The north side was taken. And I'll show you on the map very soon. And when we went to the south side, it was taken. And we went all the way around and paddled like another almost 40 minutes. The whole trip, the whole loop took us probably more than an hour to get here. That was a lot of paddling and we're so tired. But look at us now, man. Look at this. Look at this campsite. It's amazing. Look at this. Flat land right by the beach. And then that little campfire, fire pit. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Homemade fire starter made by Eric. It's basically a cotton ball with Vaseline. Okay. It's super effective. It burns hot for a while as well. Look at that. I'm eating this today. I was gonna try something else uh, from Alpine. Alpine, Alpine, Alpine. What was that? Spicy curry chicken. But I'm just gonna eat that today. I'll eat that tomorrow and hopefully uh, that'll be good. <laughs> and we had no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how high the fire is. This is crazy. <laughs> Chris, where are you going? I'm gonna go for a quick night dip. Warm up by the fire. Nice, nice. Come on, can't really see anything, but let's hear it. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, that smells so cold. So I decided to join these guys in the tent. <laughs> Wanna talk to them overnight? <laughs> We're all gonna pass out immediately. Yeah, but still get to uh, chill with them. See you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Peace. Bye audience.